In Roblox, the camera has different types. There's fixed, attached, watch, track, follow, custom, and scriptable. The one we want is scriptable. The custom camera type is what Roblox uses by default, but scriptable is the type that we want in order to make the camera do what we want it to do. There are many, many reasons why someone would want to make a scriptable camera. Cutscenes, dramatic effects, custom camera mechanics, or just a locked screen. Most of my recent projects have used a locked camera and no character, as you can see in the background. So exactly how do we do it? The first thing to do to set this setup is to make a local script. I would suggest replicated first. It has to be a local script in order to manipulate the client's camera. Once you create your uh, local script, you want to delete the pre-code and you want to define the camera. The camera is a property of workspace, current camera. So local cam equals workspace dot current camera. After that, you have to set the type of the camera. You do this by setting cam dot camera type. And now you could do one, two, etc. Like I saw on the wiki page, you could put scriptable. Or you could do it the proper way <laughs> and use enum. So enum dot camera type dot scriptable. This just looks nicer and it's slightly faster, I believe. Okay, and then there's, and then you, and that's it. You the camera will no longer be able to move. But if you want to set the uh, C frame of the camera, cam dot C frame equals C frame dot new. You can only set uh, the cam the C frame of the camera if it's scriptable. And I'll put it at five studs above base plate. Okay, let's test this. And as you can see, uh, there's my character. I can't move my camera, no matter what I do. I can move my character still, but I still can't move my character. I mean, my camera. A few things I'd like to add. The local script doesn't need to be in replicated first, like I uh, mentioned. It can also be inside starter GUI, starter pack, starter character scripts, starter player scripts. Uh, and this goes along with places local scripts can run. You can run in local paid first, um, player GUI, backpack, anywhere in the player, and in the player's character. So if I put it here, this gets uh, cloned into the player's character whenever the character spawns. So that would be inside the character which is where the local script can run. Um, this also works with uh, filtering enabled. I recommend you turn this on at all times anyways. Stream enabled, basically everything, it'll work. Uh, and yeah, that should work properly. Uh, thanks for watching, guys.